I'm not sure if you've heard of this guy. His name's Ridley Scott. Uh, no, I haven't. I didn't think you did. He made this little movie once called Blade Runner, which also, Is you it, probably never heard of it. Google it? Uh, probably. I mean, it might be obscure. You might have a hard time finding it, like, but what? it's it it's out subtitled? there. Is it subtitled? Because I don't do that. No, it's not subtitled, but it does take place in a futuristic dystopian okay. world. So it is a little bit, you know, out there. It's certainly mm. not a uh, mainstream. All those moments will be lost in time. This is a very different film. It came out at a time when sci-fi was very specific, and this film broke a lot of the boundaries between genres. And personally, Blade Runner, wouldn't you know, it happens to be one of my more favorite films. Like, it's super... More, more favorite -y? It's super favorite for me. <laughs> like, it's not my absolute favorite, but it's really up there. favorite yeah. It's too, no, a super favorite film. I've had people walk out on me before, but not when I was being so charming. Visually, this movie is just stunning. I think it's probably one of, if not the most gorgeous sci-fi films you could ever yeah. watch. You could turn the sound off, which I have done in the past, and just look at it, because it looks amazing. It is a slow movie, though. This is not like a fast-paced action thriller, which yeah. you might get the sense of seeing trailers or whatever, but that's really not the case here. This is a very brooding film. Yeah, it's a really noirish film. It's a slow burn from start yeah. to finish, and it might be the first slow burn in the future. Shakes. Me too. If you have not seen Blade Runner, you, you've got to check out Blade Runner. The real, the only question is, which cut of Blade Runner do you watch? That's the thing. There's like 16. There are a lot of cuts. Blade Runner is infamous for like studio tampering, like adding in cheesy voiceover. It's just insane. There are some bad cuts of Blade Runner. It, they're bad I've cuts. I've seen them on TV, and I'm like, why are they showing this? I know. This is why awful. am I? Whose voice am I hearing? Yeah, it's what bad. Is this? Or, the, or they'll take away the Vangelis score, which like, yeah. why would you ever do that? And the final cut is Ridley Scott's director's cut, slightly improved digitally to be remastered for Blu-ray, and it is awesome. I love the final cut. It's great. It looks so good. It's an awesome disc. And it's the story he wanted to tell. So yeah. there's something about getting the integrity of that, not the story that the studios thought was going to make them money. What's that going to prove? Indulge me. We reviewed the Final Cut disc that has its own special features. It's got great commentaries. It goes into the elements of visuals and production design. It was such a researched world, and that's really what shows through in it. But there is a, a sort of master compilation of Blade Runner out there. It's like five discs. It's got every cut. And if you want to own Blade Runner on Blu-ray, there are several awesome options. You cannot go wrong. And really, it's just one of those crucial science fiction films. You gotta have it. It's Blade Runner. It's iconic. It just it looks good on a shelf. It looks good. You'll impress the girls. You will. Oh, um, Blade Runner, yeah, I like really intelligent stuff. Is this testing whether I'm a replicant or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard? Just answer the questions, please. So, Mary, what are you going to give Blade Runner? Blade Runner's a nine for me. It's a nine. 